Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to createwithnancy.com um, and I hope um, if you're joining in today for some creativity, well, this is the place to be. So come on in and leave me a comment to let me know that you're here. Um, I would love to know that you're joining in and um, and again, my name is Nancy Thompson. I am from Central New York, Skinny Atlas to be exact, and I am an independent demonstrator for over 20 years. And every Wednesday I come live um, at 3 p.m., hopefully right around 3 p.m. I think I was, I was pretty close to being on time. I think I was one minute late according to my clock. And that's a lot better than what I have been doing. So if you are joining in, I see we've got some friends joining in today and hello again Colleen it was so great to chat with you earlier and Stella and Angela and Patty um, and Shirley is here and Elaine so welcome welcome so today what do I have to share I've got some fun the the counting sheep which is a I think it's a whimsical set um, it's a new celebration set um, so I've got a, a cute quick and easy idea to use um, with the counting sheep as well as a sneak peek for an upcoming class. So it is time to get classes going because I'm getting ready for an open house for next week. Um, so I will have classes on display. So if you haven't, if you're local to me, RSVP for open house. So I kind of know um, if you plan to attend, okay? Um, because the ones at RSVP will definitely um, have a special little treat for them, extra little treat. Okay, so make sure to RSVP if you haven't already. Um, there should have been news in an email um, that went out uh, if you're on my email list. If you have not received that email, then make sure um, you let me know, okay? Because I'm using um, an email marketing system now, so um, so it might go to your spam or your junk mail folder as well. So check that out. And if you still haven't got it, then message me and I will forward one on to you. So let's get started because um, everybody's time is valuable and um, I've got lots to share. So um, let me, let's see, let's switch over to my desktop, okay? So this is the Counting Sheep here uh, stamp set. It is part of the celebration um, choices and I'll sh talk a little bit more about celebration in a little bit. Um, and there is, it's just adorable, isn't it? Um, I don't know if, if anybody has seen the catalog. It is available online. So if you don't have a catalog for me, I will have them at my open house. But in the meantime, you can look at a catalog online, okay? Um, just go to my createwithnancy.com, that's my website, and the catalog should be listed there um, on the sidebar, okay? In fact, I need to check that out to make sure they are there. But anyways, um, I see a lot more. If you're joining in, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we got counting sheep. And then the other thing they have is, um, this is a $50 uh, choice. So with every $50 you purchase in product, there are, there's different uh, levels. There's a $50 level and a 100. This is one of the $50 options, okay? And then there's um, coordinating dies, these sheet dies. So they will die cut, plus there's some extra little um, die images to coordinate with the stamp set. So that's really cool. But the one thing I want to know, if you love the sheep, the sheet dies are limited quantity. So once they're gone, they're gone. So if you are in love with this after today, you want to make sure the dies are the first thing that are on your order. Okay? So um, let's show you the card we're going to create. So here's just a quick and simple card um, to create with these dies. So let me uh, pull out my parts and pieces. I've kind of um, got things ready here, okay? So we're starting with a basic white card base, okay? And then um, I'm calling this a three panel designer paper card, okay? Because we're just using three panels of designer paper that are the, the, the same size, okay? The granny apple is um, five inches by three and three quarters, okay? And my designer pieces are 
three and a half by one and a half piece inches. Okay, three and a half by one and a half. So I'm gonna just um, we're gonna first layer or layer our designer paper on. And does anybody know what collection this paper is from? I've used it quite a bit already. So hopefully you have an idea um, what uh, collection this paper is from. I just, it's just so versatile and I just, I'm in love with it. I can't stop using it. So I like to start from the outer edges, okay? I'm just doing about an eighth of an inch border okay and then this one we just kind of sandwich in the middle and um and center it that way okay simple simple so um pardon the louise has it right okay pattern play um pattern pattern party i think it what it is louise okay and thanks for joining in today um so there's that okay so I've got a just a one inch strip of white cardstock, okay? So I'm gonna use my um, my Taylor Tag Punch here, and I'm gonna just, remember I talked about how you center this in between with these um, lines here? So I've just done that, and I'm gonna just notch the end, okay? So we can flag that end. I love using my punches for things like this, okay? We're gonna use one of the stamps out of, out of the counting sheet dies for our greeting. So glad it's your birthday. So this will be a great greeting here for an upcoming birthday. Um, and then we're gonna just simply layer this onto our card base, okay? There we go. And I've already pre, um, die cutted um, a label out of the I can never remember this tasteful label dies okay it's this one right here that I used um, it just leaves kind of like a embossed image around the edges of it it's very subtle and we're going to um, we're going to dimensionalize this okay so we just we need a little height somewhere so because I'm going to put this piece on flat my first one, I, I added dimensional. So let's just add this to our card front, okay? There we go. We've got our card. So then we will uh, dimensionalize this. And we're just gonna add that onto there. So it's looking pretty good, isn't it? So you could really do this with anything, any stamp set. Once you kind of pick out your your background, figure out an image that would go with um, with your paper. So it's just really, are my measurements in centimeters? They are not, they are in US, <laughs> I'm not sure. I can never remember what you call, um, it's just US measurements, so. Um, unfortunately, I don't I don't do a lot of centimeters. So unfortunately, so sorry. Okay. Um. Yes. So Deb Meek. Yes, it's pattern party is what it is. Okay. So I've already stamped my image. Okay. With uh, memento ink, and I'm gonna pull in um, my stamp and blends. So I have chosen the light petal pink. This makes great uh facial features on this sheep okay it's just a nice subtle and i'm going to add it to its ears and to just parts of its legs very very easy to color in okay just adds that nice um skin tone look to it and then we're going to pull in a uh, light gray granite okay um can i recap so the measurement so three and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. Okay, Louise? So you need three of them. And then the granny apple green is three and three quarters by five inches. Okay? Um, so we're gonna, so what, the one great thing about the sheep is you don't, so if you have trouble figuring out what to color, you've got like these highlights here. Okay? You can simply um, just, color the highlights okay and and this will add enough or you can go a little bit farther and I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges because um, I like just simple and easy okay and add a little bit more if you feel like it okay I just kept it simple okay 
just so it gives it a little bit of definition to it, all right? Now we're gonna pull in our light smoky slate, okay? Um, because we wanna highlight the hooves, 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 however you wanna pronounce that. I guess there's different ways, okay? It just gives it a little bit darker shade than the gray granite, okay? And one of the great things about this, um, this die set, this goes great with our, um, our mini boss, okay? We even pulled this out in a little bit. So let's um, let's grab our die cut here, okay? And our plates. So we're gonna just, we've got our base plate, plate um, our clear plate, and we'll add our uh, die cut image there on there. There's, and then what I like to do, um, because sometimes these move on you, I'm gonna just take a um, sticky note, okay? So I make sure this holds it in place. So, okay, and we will just simply, this is the beauty of this little mini emboss. It's just, it doesn't take up much room on your desk and it's very portable, okay? And it just um, folds up and very compact. Okay, so let's grab our die cut image okay it does a beautiful little job so we've got our image and let me just throw that there and put that there so I don't lose that die okay so we are going to um, add some more dimensionals to the back of this okay so has anybody fallen in love with these sheets sheets yet I think they're a adorable um, so let's see let's add some dimensionals here okay and um, I'm just checking here let's see I just so we'll add our sheep I'm gonna kind of tilt him a little bit because I want his hand hanging out because I've already die cutted um, some balloons and I picked my balloon choices um, from my pattern party paper, from my designer paper. So it makes the color combination really, really easy and simple to do. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let me, I'm just trying to make sure one thing, okay. So what do I want? I want to start with the pink one first. I'm going to put the pink one in the middle. So I'm going to just tuck it underneath his, um, his one hoof, okay? And then we'll just keep adding our balloons here. So they just kind of off center each other, okay? And so we've got a simple car. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Thanks, Deb. It is. I know, Shirley. Um, chew. Chew. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what brought that on, but anyways. Okay, so what I wanted to do was we. I need to decorate the inside. So let me grab, let's see, I think, I think we're going to grab this little sheep here. Okay. If I can get it out of my stamp set here. So let's just grab this guy. And you can see again how easy it is to color this, okay? So I think he would just be adorable just over here in the corner, okay? So make sure you're commenting because one lucky person or two lucky people, I will be sharing um, one of these samples with you, okay? So we'll just add um, quickly add some blends to his face and let's see light smoky so this is the hose and I think this is great for any age person it doesn't have to be children um, just any adult anybody you want to bring some happiness to Share some sunshine, whether it's a birthday or just a plain hello, or I'm thinking of you, I'm over the moon about you, whichever. 
Okay, isn't that cute? And then for the envelope, let's just add, um, I'm just going to add some designer paper to the envelope flap. So that makes a cute um, ensemble. And if you wanted to, you could stamp on the on here as well on the front. <laughs> okay, Patty, you didn't think you would like the, the sheet, but everybody needs sheep, right? They're just cute. Um, you're going to wish. So just make sure you get those dies before they are gone. Okay, so um let's see here let me just make sure that I have... all right so i've got one other idea to show you oh if you're going to stamp on your envelope just make sure you um insert a piece of scrap in here so that um so it doesn't bleed through okay so that's very important is to make sure you've got some scrap in there so when you're coloring you're great okay you're not going to bleed through so okay all right um second card so this is a sneak peek of um, an upcoming class that I'm going to be having it, you'll see the full class um, uh, at my open house okay so and did I not hmm I gotta think here for a minute what did I do with everything else oh okay this is the wrong bucket hold on I've got the wrong bucket here. Okay, so this is using the, um, what do I wanna call this? Um, the Harvest Hellos, I think it's what it's called, designer paper. Um, I gotta think here, I'm pretty sure it's the Harvest Hellos. Let me double check. Um, Harvest Meadow designer paper. I love it. I'm a nature person, so um, yeah, so I'm going back to the sheep card. This would make a great baby card as well, as Elaine says. So um, I love nature, and that's kind of like what my branding is based on, is all the nature. But just look at this beautiful paper here, okay? It's just got nice warm colors, but still kind of bright and cheery. Um, this one here is kind of like trees to me with like snow on it. Um, we've got, um, I'm guessing this is wheat here and just a nice kind of, uh, not really paisy, but just a nice, um, sunflowery type design as well. Okay. And then just, uh, I don't know, um, just a cool background design. And this one's another tree one. It says the colors in this are Cajun craze, but to me, this looks more like Calypso coral. So I've been pairing it with Calypso coral. And I love this with like the tiny writing of script. Um, that's really cool. And then some more type um, flower, kind of like uh, plant images there. And got another um, geometric design there and this is more plants here kind of like the fall stuff and then let's on the back just more geometric designs okay so really nice warm colors it's misty moonlight cajun craze bumblebee um crumb cake what else is in here um i think that's it but what i want to make sure you see is this cork paper. This is brand new in our um, mini catalog and I love, love this stuff. It is thin like paper, okay? It's it's the same kind of, almost maybe a tad bit thinner than our designer paper and it cuts like butter when you're die cutting it. It's just really nice and just adds that warm texture to your um, image, your project. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We are making some note cards, okay? So let's bring in some note cards. Um, we're using the, let's look at the stamp set, I guess. And dun -dun -dun. what else are we doing here? We need some Bumblebee ink, I think. So another blend and this and this. Okay, so we're good to go. So let's look at this stamp set. I just think it's really, really, um, it's this cornflower. It goes great with um, with Quiet Metal that's in our annual catalog. So it, it'll pair up great. And it's got some really beautiful words in here. Sending healing thoughts, may nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. 
and a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. So just really nice, um, nice words. So um, check that out. And of course we have um, dyes to go with this. So we've got like a special corn flower um, image. So there's no stamp to go with it, but you can just die cut that as well as this. This is like an extra die cut and this, and then we've got some really cool labels that will die cut out um, your words. You can kind of like piecemeal this. Oh, this, no, that's too small, but here's another um, different size. And then of course we have some dies that will cut out these two images here. And this is kind of like, um, kind of like a, you know, a branch or something that you can use as well. So really cool die set. I love it. So you're going to see more of this um, uh, between now and the end of the year. Okay. And then I paired it with um, Time Worn Type um, embossing folder. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Okay. And also we have these beautiful brushed metallic adhesive back dots. So let's see. So this is the card we're going to create. I did this in uh, basic white. Okay. So afterwards I'm like, I wonder how this would look with um, very vanilla. So we are going to, I'm going to make it this one in very vanilla color scheme instead. Okay. And then you guys can let me know what you like better, or you probably already know what you like better. So I've already die cut um, out, um, what's the name of the dies? Um, Tailor made tags, okay? And then I ran it through the embossing folder. See that texture on there? It's just enough, it just gives a nice background to the tag, okay? And I am going to need a piece of grid paper here. So let me just grab out a clean sheet here because I'm going to be doing something special. So let's, um, first we're going to glue this with some Tombow multi-purpose onto the tag, okay? Got to think here. We're going to use, got to look for my dimensionals here. Um, here we go. So let's, we're going to just add one dimensional up here at the top, okay? Because this is going to kind of overlap our tag. So I've just added that on and I've got this hanging over because it just, so it's not flopping around, okay? So we've got our tag done. Now let's, um, let's adhere our designer paper. We're going to do this onto some crumb cake. Um, and I will have these measurements. Well, these this is going to be a class, so um, so I'm not going to share these measurements, but um, at least not until after the class is done. I'll post them again, or maybe I'll do it in my um, community group too for those in there. Okay, so we're going to just um, layer some designer paper onto some crumb cake here. Okay, and, and I love just kind of going through a package of designer paper and pairing up my two, the designs within the package. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about not meeting in the middle because we're going to cover this up with some ribbon, okay? So, um, so as you can see, look at this color ribbon, okay? We do not have it in the catalog, but let me show you um, how we can create this ribbon, okay? So we're gonna take our pale papaya ribbon. It's one of our in colors, and I need eight inches here. So let's cut this. Those are the dull scissors. There we go. So we're gonna cut this. And I'm going to take, let's see, this is the light Cajun craze blend, okay? So we are just going to, um, that's why I needed the grid paper. We're going to just, I'm really just doing the outer edges, okay? By um, just running my blend on the side of my tip, okay? And once you've got, you know, the coverage that you want, and what I love about using our alcohol markers is that it dries really, really quickly, okay? Um, so, 
so let's uh, tie up our bow, okay? You can simply do it. Remember the fork, we, I've done this plenty of times, the fork bow technique. Um, I guess I really cut a lot extra. Um, so, oh, you know what? I didn't want to do that. I'm going to put this aside <laughs> because I need to wrap this around. So go back. I need to go back. I didn't measure this. So hang on. So how much do I need? Because I want to wrap this around and make a bow. Okay. So I am going to first make my loop and decide where that loop knot is going to be, wrap it around, bring it back, and then cut it off. So let's color this again, okay? Totally forgot I wanted to um, wrap it around. Okay, you don't necessarily have to go to the very end because that's, because you're going to cut it off anyway. So. Um, so I left a little bit on the tail. And if you're using like really rough ribbon, um, it can like um, kind of um, brush up your mark, you know, uh, the tip of your marker a little bit, kind of make it frayed a little bit. So just be careful. Okay, now we're good to go. So let's see, we are going to wrap this around and I'm going to tie a bow. Here we go. The ribbon might not have been totally dry. So we'll just tie a pretty little bow here. I'm gonna try. So does anybody have a top choice for their celebration items that they are that's on their wish list um, for this year? I think I like them all. I love the penguins. So penguins, it's a penguin party soon. So I've got lots of great ideas coming up for um, for upcoming classes and some will be in person and some will be available virtually as well. Okay, so I missed, didn't quite go far enough. So we're just gonna tidy that up a little bit. Okay, I think a little shorter. Okay, so doesn't that coloring it with the Cajun craze like like just make a big difference um, color wise. So I, I love using our blends for that type of um, um, image. Okay, so let's, um, we it's time to add our tags. We're gonna use more dimensionals here. And thanks Elaine. Yes, coloring your ribbons to have custom colors is so easy. So don't forget to you know, remember to do that because we do kind of forget to do these simple things. Okay, we are just going to kind of angle this, okay? Isn't that looking great? And then we're gonna pull out the vanilla card base. And I don't normally do this, but I'm adding more dimensionals just to the corners um, because this is a lot of layers, but hopefully I think it's, um. In between you know the tag is kind of like in the middle of the card so I think it'll still go through the mail okay no cards are mailable so that works great so let's just add this onto here okay and now we need to bling it up a little bit so let's pull in these brushed metallic and these are part of the suite um, with uh, um, with this suite. So let me grab something here. Let's see. I think we are going to go with these bronze ones on this card. Okay. And just add some sprinkle on three of these. Okay. So, and we need to add a greeting, which I thought I had stamped, but I did not. So good thing I've got some extra ones cut out here. So this is the tag here, 
and let me grab the stamp set back here and we're gonna make this a thank you just quickly add a thank you on here let's add our memento and let's turn it right side up so hopefully I get this straight there we go oh that came out really good okay so we've got our thank you done and hmm where am I gonna put this I gotta think here because my blend or my bling is down there so far I guess we're just going to I wonder if I can pick this up because this is up let me see if I can move this I lost the glue there we go let's move that down a little bit okay so let's add that there and we're gonna add a dimensional on this edge here okay because that's gonna be kind of hanging off okay I think we're straight there we go all right so let's pretty up the envelope okay um, we are going to use just this um, the stamped image here because I think this makes a great image on our envelope just adding these um, corn flowers in bumblebee ink what do you think there we go and that's um, um, my card that's gonna be part of my class okay but I'll quickly show you the other two samples um, here is the other two samples in this and part of the class will be making um, a little pouch for them to go in as well okay so um, so wait for some more details on that so let me know what do you like better do you like the the vanilla base or the white base so that's what's really hard to decide and um, I don't know if you guys can see the difference between the two um, so let me know if you what you think okay so um, let's talk a little bit more about celebration okay um, because I wanted to um, also tell you a few more things that a couple more items that are while supplies last okay there's also this be dazzled um uh paper it's like it's really glittery and just so sparkly and it's to die for so there's eight sheets and it's a celebration choice a 50 dollar um celebration choice um so um and this these are definitely while supplies last so if you love these you're going to want to get a package of these soon okay and then the second one is, um, let's see, there's dyes, and I had the dyes. There's this, um, the Shaded Summer stamp set is in our annual catalog, okay? But the celebration choice is the dyes that go with um, the stamp set that coordinate with it. So it will cut out these images here, um, and then there's extra, like, additional flowers and and leaf images as well okay these are these are a hundred dollar level choice um and goes with this stamp set so these are limited supply okay all the rest um will be available they could go on back order but um maybe towards the end they should be available for the whole celebration but could possibly just go on back order okay so make sure you check out the mini catalog um, and the one thing I wasn't sure if I was clear with um, with my open house is next week I'm also doing a retired sale along with it same place same time um, the sale starts at 9 a.m. Um, to 4 on Friday and Saturday next week and it's a BOGO sale so it's buy one and get one free okay so um, you could either do retired merchandise as you're free or you can place an order in the in, in any of the catalogs okay so that's a really awesome time so when you order out of the catalog you um, pay for your retired stuff and um, and then you also do celebration choices if you've qualified so um, really good 
good sale next week. But the other thing, um, if you have a $100 order, um, think about joining my team, okay? It's a perfect time during celebration to join. And Stampin' Up! has um, sweetened the celebrations or the starter kit during celebration. Um, there are 12 die sets um, or 12 bundles, okay, that are available to add to uh, your starter kit. And back here on page 19 of the catalog, you can see the 12 bundles here that are available. Um, during when you purchase the starter kit. It's a great way to get um, items at a discount and also be part of my Ink and With Heart Stampers team, okay? Um, and I can give you more information, so just reach out to me. But here's one of the bundles is the um, Frosted Gingerbread Bundle, which is really awesome. Um, these two bundles, the Christmas Season and the Christmas to Remember Bundles, are um, on the Join um, list. The same with Whimsical Trees, okay? That's on the join list. Um, and the penguins are here too, so very whimsical penguins. Okay, um, what else? We have this um, Peaceful Cabin bundle here as well. And let's see, um, Beauty of Tomorrow. And actually the paper just became available today, so I have not touched it seen it yet but it just looks really fabulous this paper here as well and then we have um, and of course this um, nature's harvest bundle is on that list also so check it out um, come join me pay attention I might if things work out well I could be doing a YouTube live video later this week so uh, make sure you're following um, my page here and um, my connection's spotty. I'm so sorry, Colleen. Um, hopefully it will improve. Um, so if you, um, so pay attention to uh, my Facebook for a post if I um, can pull a YouTube live together for later this week. Um, it's a great way. Um, I'll have another idea to share with you um, because there's lots to share um, with these celebration ideas with you, okay? Um, so have an awesome rest of the day, and I so appreciate you joining in with me. And make sure to RSVP for my open house if you're local and to attend. Bring a friend, um, pass the word, share with others if you can't make it. And um, I will see you, if I don't see you um, for a YouTube live uh, video, I'll see you next Wednesday again. Um, and hopefully I'll be, I'll also be sharing, once I start setting up for the sale, I'll be sharing some sneak peek uh, videos or photos of, um, of what's um, for sale as well, okay? So we'll take care and hope to see you soon. Thanks so much and have an awesome afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs>